Number 58, the directions are the same as 56, which is to write the simplest polynomial function with the given roots. So the first thing we notice is that we have some imaginary roots here. So if we know that 2i is a root, then that means negative 2i is also a root. The same thing is that uh, for radical 3 is a root, then that means negative radical 3 is also a root. So we can see that there's a total of five roots for this function. So we're going to start the first step, which is to write everything out as the factored form. So we have x minus 2i times x plus 2i, x minus radical 3, x plus radical 3, and x minus 4 is the last factor. And we're going to foil the first two in the middle two factors because those kind of go in together. They are our pairs. Um, so from the first one, we will have x squared plus 2ix minus 2ix for the inner term. And the last term is going to be a minus 4i squared. Next, for the middle two terms, we will have x squared plus radical 3x minus radical 3x and finally minus 3. And then don't forget we have an x minus 4 by itself in the back. Let's clean up. We have a minus and a plus term in the middle so they will cancel out and likewise the same thing goes here. And we also know that i squared is equal to negative 1 so we're going to substitute that. And so let's simplify this a little bit. We're going to end up with x squared. Um, negative 1 times negative 4 will give us a plus 4. And in the middle, we have x squared minus 3 by itself. And then we have x minus 4. Next, we're going to FOIL again the first two terms because we have two factors multiplying. And FOILing it, we have x to the fourth minus 3x squared inner term plus 4x squared and last term minus 12. And let's bring down the x minus 4 and then the middle terms will combine into x squared plus or x to the fourth I mean plus x squared minus 12 and finally multiplying x minus 4. So the next step we want to do is to distribute the terms of the second parenthesis through all three terms in the front. So we have x to the fifth plus x to the third minus 12x and then the second term we will get let um, me use a different color here so we would have um, negative 4x to the fourth minus 4x squared and finally plus 48 combining all the like terms it looks like every term is unique but we can just pretty much rearrange everything into standard form which is starting with x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 4x squared minus 12x with a plus 48 at the end and that is the function that has um, that has all of those roots that are given from the problem and a problem